now in this video we will be learning about the how we can get the input from the user okay so basically we will see uh, with the many examples like suppose I will ask the user to enter his name so at that time you just should be able to enter his name and all those things okay so basically we will use the uh, read command or you can uh, yeah read command you can say all the what you can say like uh, read keyword is used to take input from the user in the shell scripting okay so actually i have already opened up the terminal here uh vs code sorry and i will just create a new file here uh, 03 uh, read input dot sh okay so i'll just use this uh, hash bank pin bash okay i will just give it the name of uh, this tutorial that is the input read input from user okay so first of all we will see the basic scenario like suppose i enter here uh, echo enter your name please okay so here i will read the name and here you you will see the divs will be the name of the variable okay in which you want to store this value okay and next here i will print the variable like uh, your name is uh dollar name okay control s to save and i want to run from here but here from here i will need to give permission but so it's better to run from here okay so here it is asking for me to enter my name so i will enter ayush okay why it's not working oh my god oh, let me just control c uh, let me use the terminal terminal is far better than this okay so we need to just give the permission to that file that is 03 we are done in dot slash 03 dot sh okay sorry dot slash 03 dot sh and enter your name please ayush so here you can see the your name is ayush okay so in this way we can uh, take the input from the user and also there are many use cases of this uh, read command okay so we will uh, learn it uh, one by one okay so uh, let's start with the first one like uh, we can use many options like read hyphen p okay so next moving forward i will just uh, here i will do a read hyphen p is used for the prompt so here i will prompt enter your uh, age okay so here you can just give the name of the variable which you want to provide so you can just give it as is okay and next i will just uh, use this echo command or echo keyword to print the value your name uh, sorry your age is what dollar is okay control s to save clear the screen again run the script your name my name is ayush guys your is i will enter 20 here you can see your age is 20. so what is the difference between this and above and uh, this one read name so what is happening here we are using uh, one extra line for echoing that particular line but using hyphen p option you can write your variable as well as whatever you want to prompt to the user you can write those all things in a one single line so now uh, let me just comment out these things and i will again run the command so that will be easy for you to understand so here it is asking me for interview yes so here you can see i have just used this single line and it was asking me to enter the uh whatever the is and all those things so don't be confused uh, it was by mistake 204 i'm not that much old okay so uh in this way you can uh use this hyphen p option also there is many am amazing option like uh, if i will uncomment this and i will just comment out these things and if in case you don't provide the 
variable name so at that time you can use this reply okay you can use this one to like you can use this one like this okay if you don't provide the uh, name of the variable then it will store it into this reply so i will just again run up this particular script and i will write the name as ayush and here you can see ayush your name is ayush without any use of variable okay but that is not a very good practice to use but uh, yeah it is always uh, like uh, advised to use the variables okay so i will give it the name here as name and the same as it is the dollar name okay dollar name okay we are done you are good to go now uh, there is also some amazing things you should know about like suppose i am asking the user to enter some kind of confidential information i will just comment out these things uh, read hyphen p and the username okay suppose you are asking for the username i will just create a variable username and you can also ask for password read hyphen sp and here you will ask for the password so obviously you don't want to reveal your password okay with everyone so the hyphen s provides that functionality you will see right now so i will just uh, equal those two variables so here i will write like this your not your just uh, use username and the dollar user name user name okay yeah we're good to go now and just use the password okay dollar password okay control is to save let me just clear the screen again this one username my username is uh, this one you can follow me on instagram <laughs> i know i'm promoting and for password you can use uh, it's easy to crack okay so here you can see the username is this one and password is this one but uh, you i hope uh, you just uh, uh, what we can say notice like uh, the when i was typing the uh, password it was not visible okay I will use one more echo for the blank space okay again i will run this script so that could be easy to understand so i will use username ayush and the password is something in the c i am typing but nothing is displaying on the screen and here you can see now username is ayush and password is this whatever i have written i don't know what i have written okay so this is the thing okay so i hope you got to learn about like how you can take input from the user okay so now thank you for watching and if you have any query you can ask in the comment section and surely i will post these uh, uh codes inside your uh, inside my github repository not yours okay but you can access that repository so that's all for today's guide and i hope you in uh you guys liked it and we'll meet you in the next video thank you thank you for watching